Hey y'all, this is Kayla with Live Oak Nest and today I want to show you how to make these cute little fabric acorns. These are super cute to make and they're a lot of fun, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is um, trace out a circle. So this here is like a little condiment container and um, this is gonna fill up kind of like a medium sized acorn. So when I was gathering my caps, I found lots of different acorns. Um, I have bur oaks and I have uh, live oak acorn caps. So it kind of just depends on um, what size your, your caps are and then um, that's gonna kind of base be your basis to how big your circle needs to be. So this one is going to fill a kind of either a large just normal live oak acorn cap or a smaller bur oak cap. So trace your circle out. It doesn't matter what kind of pin you use. You're not going to be able to see this anyways. Um, so we're going to cut out our circle here and so when I trace out my circle and get it cut, I cut out just a little bit outside of the line. Uh, that way when I'm stitching, I kind of just follow the line as kind of a guide. So now that my circle is cut out here, I'm going to just thread my needle and it doesn't matter what color thread you use, you're not going to be able to see this either. Um, so I just have some, some blue thread here that I'm just going to use to um, stitch up my little acorn. So if you saw my pumpkin tutorial um, on the fabric pumpkins, you're going to stitch these just the exact same way. They're just a lot smaller. So we're basically going to leave a knot on the end of our thread and then we're just going to start stitching all the way around um, the circle here. Okay, so once we get it stitched all the way around, then I'm going to hold on to the thread so that it doesn't pull back through. Um, and I'm just gonna use some of this fabric fill that I have and start filling it up. And then I just kind of start cinching it a little bit tighter the fuller it gets until I get it about the size I want. So when I have it as full as I want it, I'm going to um, just tie a knot in it and tie it off. So this part is a little tricky because they're so small, um, but you can kind of hold it up against you to help you tie it off um, and get it good and tight. So this bag of acorns that I have here are just acorn caps that I've gathered um, on our walks. And so I find tons of different sizes and um, what I did to get them ready was I put them in a Ziploc bag, kind of like this one, sprayed a little bit of bug spray and then sealed it up. And um, I left them in there too long because then they got a little, <laughs> a little bit moldy. So then I ended up um, soaking them with like dish soap and vinegar and then actually scrubbing them pretty good. And so once I did that and laid them out flat to dry, um, they're perfect and they're good to use. So this is really all there is to this little craft project. So all you do now um, is you're going to just put a little bit of hot glue in the cap and then you're going, going to stuff in your little um, fabric acorn. So I'm going to show you just several. I've already made a couple of different um, sizes and so I'm just going to kind of show you how I'm going to glue these in here and just give you an idea of the different shapes and the different um, colors and things like that that you could do.
so now I'm going to show you kind of how I did a bigger one. It's the exact same process. I just thought you might want to see kind of the size um, for one of these bigger bur oak caps that I'm going to make. So this is just like a small teacup plate, a little saucer. And so I use that to trace out my circle. Um, and then I'm just going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to stitch around it, fill it with polyfill, tie it off really well, and then um, hot glue it into the cap. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video on how to make a fabric acorn and if you like the video I'd love if you would like it give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please subscribe um, down below so I'll see you again soon